Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous videos on currencies, we saw how to create a new currency, add exchange rates, assign the new currency to a customer, create a new bank account with foreign currency, post documents and register payment for open invoices. Today we are going to use the adjust exchange rates batch job. As we know, exchange rates fluctuate constantly. Any additional currency in the system must be adjusted periodically. If these adjustments are not made, the amounts that have been converted from foreign currencies and posted to the G slash L in local currency may be misleading. That's why the adjust exchange rates batch job must be run regularly. To keep the amounts updated when we are using a foreign currency, rates can be adjusted for individual customers, vendors, and bank accounts by running a batch job. To run a batch job, enter adjust exchange rates in the search field, and then select adjust exchange rates in the search results, or you can open it directly from the currencies page. The adjust exchange rates batch job is used to update the amount on all the open invoices, and the bank account balances on the date entered on the adjust exchange rates page. Note that the invoices that have been closed or fully paid will not be updated when we run the adjust exchange rates batch job. So, first what we need to do is, search for currencies and choose the related link. Then we will select Euro. Here we are going to open a few more tabs. In the first tab, we will open a bank account. We are using HSBC. In the other tab, we will open the customer ledger entries for the customer test C. And apply the filter to view only the open invoices. We will see the amounts for the bank accounts in the customer before and after we run the batch job. Back on the Currencies tab, just click on Home and select the Adjust Exchange Rates Batch Job. On the Adjust Exchange Rates page that opens, you must enter the following details. Starting date specifies the beginning of the period for which entries are adjusted. This field is usually left blank because you usually adjust all the open entries. Ending date specifies the last date for which entries are adjusted. This field is usually the same as the posting date. Posting description. It specifies the text for the general ledger entries that are created by the batch job. The default text is exchange rates adjustment of 1%, 2%, in which 1% is replaced by the currency code, and 2% is replaced by the currency amount that is adjusted. Posting date. The posting date is important as this will determine the effective exchange rate that will be the basis of calculating the currency fluctuations. Once the batch job processing is completed, it will post the entries to reflect the unrealized gains or losses. Here we will enter X-Ray 2022 as the document number, adjust customers, vendors, bank accounts, GL accounts, specifies if you want to adjust the batch job for specific fields. If you scroll down, you will see more options to apply filters to specific currency, bank accounts, customers, and vendors. After entering all the necessary fields, click OK. We will see a message that will be displayed on the screen when the batch job is run successfully. One or more currency exchange rates have been adjusted. When you click on OK, the system will update all the open invoice amounts and the open bank account balances with that currency code. The amounts will be updated to the date you have entered in the ending date or the posting date field. If we go to the other tabs, we will see the adjusted amounts for the bank account and the updated amounts for the open invoices. If we go to the bank account here and click on the amount in USD, which is the local currency, we will see an adjustment amount being posted with the document number X-Rate 2022. Now if we go to the other tab and look at the customer ledger entries for test C and apply the filter to see the open invoices and then click on the amount, we will see the adjustment entry being posted as the unrealized loss amount. If we remove the filter now, we will see that the amount for the closed invoices is unchanged because the batch job only adjusts the entries for the open invoices and the bank account. 
Adjustment entries will be posted by the system as the unrealized gain loss amount on the GL accounts that you have mapped as the unrealized gains losses account for the currency on the currencies page. The amount will then be transferred to the realized gains or losses account once you have closed the invoice or registered payment for that invoice. So that's all for the currency series. If you liked the video, do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to like the video. Thanks for watching.